This is the banqueting house built by Inigo Jones in 1622. It's most famous for being the execution site for Charles I. He stepped out of the first floor window, the third floor, third, sorry, third window along to be killed, um, uh, raised on a scaffolding just in front. But much more excitingly for me, it's the first properly classical building in the whole of London, built by Inigo Jones, the Smithfield-born son of a Welsh tailor, who was one of the first British architects to actually go over to Italy and properly learn the rules of classical architecture. This must have been an incredible revolutionary site when it was first seen. The most important thing for you to know is that he follows the rules of the four orders of architecture, Doric, Ionic, Corinthian and Composite pillars. You can see two of them there, on the ground floor, Ionic, with those twirly-whirly bits, said to look like a girl's curls on the side of her hair, so they're called the most feminine of orders, and then above, the composite columns. Um, the other interesting thing to notice is the windows. They're sash windows, like you and I have on our flats and houses, but when they were originally built, they would have been casement windows that opened like that. Those were replaced across Britain in the late 17th century with the invention of the sash window, which was much more sophisticated for letting in tiny amounts of air by opening and closing the two sashes. Here, on the banqueting house, they were swapped from casements to sashes in 1713, a very exciting moment.